hello dear students in this video we are going to study the summary of the story my beloved charioteer written by shashi desh pande and in the previous video i have given you a brief introduction about shashi desh pande now let's have a look at the summary shashi desh pande is an award winning indian novelist shashi desh pande makes gender main to her writing so that is the most important and most noticeable uh, feature of his writing in her story my beloved charioteer she attempts to the program the relationship of granny mother and daughter at numerous phases of life it is a story of a mother child relationship as well as a woman's role as a partner means a woman's role as a wife mom and child relationship resembles sisters or sparring partners sparring means discussive partners so mom and child relationship is like a discussion partners they look after each other means they care each other my cherished charioteer or my beloved charioteer portrays the life of mom's nature and behavior not as kindness but as a typical human having plenty of negatives as well as positives full of feelings as well as aggravations aggravations means excitements and not a best being so mom's characterization is placed a combination of typical human being my cherished charioteer by sashi desh pande is based on the three generations three females that is grandma mother and daughter and three different state of minds cohabiting granny being the earliest one and the one who looks after each and everybody in a house mother called arti the daughter of granny a depressed girl when it comes to home she cared and liked have passed away she loved two individuals that is her dad and her partner has both passed away so arti is basically a an alone female from who who's her dad and her partner has devoid of she is now the most inflamed individual in the house and she invests her most of the time smoking and looking at the walls of her space she does not speak with anybody neither to her daughter preeti and nor to her mother she even scolds preeti for no reason she is a lot entangled with the past and her present is neglected so this is the mental state of arti the daughter called preeti the youngest and the most energetic character her dad and grandpa had both passed away her mom does not speak with her her caretaker and her buddy means her friend in the house is her grandma and grandma sub name is ajji when preeti is gone silence settles in house the relation between the arti and preeti is not too excellent in the story so this is the story of mother daughter mother name is arti and daughter name is preeti and there is an another woman in the house that is grandma also called ajji and is in pain because of the love of her dad and her partner she doesn't do any work which a mom and for her aged mom she does not speak to preeti have fun with her nevertheless she is called preeti sometimes to reveal her anger outrage and displeasure so preeti is the target of arti's depression due to the fact that of her nature grandmother ajji need to look after preeti she imitates her mother means grandmother very much take care of preeti like a mother 
she wakes her she dresses her for school make breakfast for her it is shocking to see in the story that at this age also ajji does all the work and she even doesn't grumble means she de- she even doesn't complain the relationship of aarti and preeti is not good whereas the relationship between ajji and preeti is great ajji is as soon as insist aarti to head out of the home like park whereas in reply she says that seeing other people delighted she wished to eliminate and bury their joy <clears throat> this reveals among the nature of depressed lady ironically ajji's husband room offers her the opportunity to discover her voice rebel against her child and break the silence that threatens to destroy her house and her granddaughter the picture frame that was broken accidentally by aarti provided a chance which assisted ajji to talk to her and to explain her that what gone is gone so here ajji is a very strong and powerful uh, and an intelligent mind and having an intelligent mind ajji explains aarti about the life ajji is also holding the discomfort of a partner however on the other hand she is handling and not ranging from her problems and worries priti has a daughter and she requires to look after her ajji likewise says that she does not wish to ever see the photograph again as it is no point of seeing things which provide discomfort and discomfort aarti requires to be delighted at which she got instead of things which she doesn't have for this reason through this story sashi deshpande elegantly draws out the mother daughter relationship on various phases and aspects of life so that's all about the summary of this story this story revolves around the relationship of mother daughter and grandmother mother and grandmother and grandmother and granddaughter so there are three states of mind that is uh, going in this series in the whole story so that's all about this story thank you all